Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going big uh, with the Rick's Mix paints. I've got quite a bit of some of these colours left over and this tabletop um, I have put a couple of coats of gesso on it. Uh, I didn't like what I'd done on it before so I thought well let's give it a go with something different. And when we were on the live, I really, really loved the pancake dispenser through the um, sink strainer. So I thought, well, let's use up some of these colours and go a little bit wild and see what we can create. Um, so I'm using these colours because I loved them mixed together. They looked fantastic, they came out looking great and they did funky cell stuff together. So uh, yeah, let's get to it and start pouring paint. <laughs> um, first, I have given these a really big shake up and so they should be all quite good. And uh, so we've got Cherry Blossom Red Surf's Up, which is like a turquoise colour, Lapis Blue, and Alabaster White. This is the runny white. And my phone is doing noisy stuff. Mute. All right, so I'm going to do some combo pours and just sort of Pouring from up high. I'm going to put quite a bit of paint in here. Probably use up most of what's in these. This, uh, how big is this? That's a great question. You can hear somebody asking out there. And I have no idea. I should really measure it and then you guys would have an idea of my paint ratio so I will do that in a second um, let me get a ruler La règle est tu. There it is. I love this roller. It's got inches on one side <laughs> and centimeters on the other. So, briefly, it is. It's about twenty-two inch diameter. So. As you saw, there's a lot of paint in there. In fact, there's about 700 milliliters or three cups, 24 fluid ounces. Again, the jug telling me all this great information. Um, so there we go. Let's see how much of it we actually require. Seems like we are quite nicely spread out in regards to Yeah, 
using lip paint. spread almost perfectly even which is fantastic and I think I'm loving it it's kind of painting itself isn't it <laughs> which is really cool okay I'm gonna get rid of this now don't want any drips. I really love what's happening around here. So I'm just going to tilt slightly in all directions. There you go, it's running over the side, so I'm just gonna help it run down the edges and then Bring it back the other way. And as soon as it comes over the edges, I'm just going to run my finger around just to help it flow. Make sure that it's going to cover. And excuse the back of my head. Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. Now, yeah, basically going over the edge on this side already. So. Let's just make that flow with ease. And then I want it to come back this way. And again, just getting that flow happening all the way around and then let's see if we can get that back into the center ish wherever the center might be Oh, that is delicious. Okay. Let me get you down and show you how delicious that actually is. <laughs> Because it's got some really yummy stuff in there. Oh, and you can't see it very well because it's just so far away. Alright.
Wow, that's blown out quite dynamically. <laughs> Not sure why. That's a bit better. Look at all those lines where it's the different colours have come through. Look at how it just sort of like squirts up and makes all this bubbles and cells. Now this stuff is just straight out of the bottle. No silicon added. No extras. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Ah, no, don't brighten up again. So pretty. Now, experience tells me that this will uh, darken <laughs> as much as the camera wants it to lighten. It won't. And that is looking extremely red. So my, it's, it's got a lot of yellow in it. My camera seems to have decided what colour it's going to be and it's making it do that. So I apologise for it blowing out. But I like it. I like it a lot. My carpet is a lot more tan than it's showing here but I hope you get the picture and I will show you it dry at the end hopefully in natural light right now it's raining flooding in New Zealand summer rain how does it get any better I really like it I like it a lot so, I'm going to now try and not move it, and not bump it, and not cause any problems with it, and see what it does. Um, it's still dripping on some sides, but I tell you what, if it dries out anything like this, uh, I'm going to be putting some resin on it and using it as a tabletop. It's so pretty. All right, guys, I'll be back to dry you, show you the dry result. Three, two, one. Well, it's dry. And from a distance, it looks awesome. And I think once a big layer of resin on it, it will stay looking awesome. But let me zoom in and show you why I say that. Oh, can you see? It's like it's um, it's not cracked as much as. Um, the top layer hasn't shrunk enough. <laughs> it's like it got old and creepy. Look at this. Those are not cracks. Those are ridges. Look at that. And it is quite all over. Now, not quite as much over on the edges, but still, there is still puddles. So, what do you reckon? Tell me in the comments. Did I still have too much paint? I covered it because we are starting to warm up here in New Zealand. It is spring. 
spring has sprung we're having warm days so I covered it oops sorry about the fingers um, and it looks lovely from a distance I really do like it I am quite keen to keep it as a ooh, color change um, as a tabletop even although I'm not sure where I'd put it it doesn't go in my house um hmm now this paint when it's dry is tacky and I was just feeling a couple of the paintings that I did initially and they still feel like the tacky so although it feels tacky I'm not going to trust that it is think that it's wet um, going to give it a few more days and see what happens but I'm going to put this video up anyway if it changes I will let you know so make sure you um, are subscribed and keep an eye on the community tab so yeah so there you go I really really like it it's funky let me know in the comments would you keep it would you not? Um, I like it. So I'm going to let it dry even more. Give it a couple of weeks of dry time like we normally do. And then probably resin it anyway and see what happens. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy my videos, Please give them a like, a thumbs up, share them in your social media, friends groups and things like that. Um, I'm very grateful to all of you that do. Very grateful to all of you that use my affiliate links for Amazon in the description. Um, paid patrons and also all those people that just let the ads run during the video. It really contributes to me and this channel staying going. Um, I adore you all. I'm so grateful. What else is possible? What could I play with now? Alright guys, I will see you in another video coming soon. Bye bye.